Next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters identical in age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 243 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finny takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And there comes the separation now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Not there. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Beautiful body kick. Man, straight. 
striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damage punch. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Back clip with the right hand. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head. Now he falls back into the finishing position. control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice straight punch. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Able to check the high kick. Just out of range with that strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? to the left hand now, unable to connect. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Collar tie now. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very fast head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Now he's got the
the Muay Thai Pro. Oh, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the bottom. I mean, it is going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and it's just driving knees into your body. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one up. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. And this dude's catching chips. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Throws the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Good stick. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice job by him there to split that off. Superman punch now. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. And they separate. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Nice kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Straight right, he misses. Oh, leg kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Now he's got a hurt band. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh! And he continues to work the body here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He's back in the quick position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clip. Oh, that's a nice strike. Boy, Thai plump. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Tags him with the uppercut. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. I survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result.
body. I need you to keep your elbows in tight. Watch your distancing. Remember. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. What a punch. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. <laughs> right hook to the head block. Got the single collar tie. Boom. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. An uppercut in. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touched it over and over again. Oh, nice right hand. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, what a punch. Try to establish that jab. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. That's a big strike right there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Great diversity in this attack. Nice elbow from the punch. Lands a big elbow there. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out! Jab hurt Looked like bit. it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, wow. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. His opponent's going like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Get the turtle in that kick. Big power shot there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round, and how about the cut on that eyebrow? Oh, man, that's hard to look at, even for me. It's gotten really, really bad here. You gotta think they're gonna call the doctor in here, and if it gets any worse, you gotta think they have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's Ready night. Fight. The toughness Ready. displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take any more of those types of strikes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. the tie clinch. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing it. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Trying to recover full guard there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Beautiful punch. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he got him. He got him. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's attack armbar now. of a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nice Great job. Out. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top side, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, nice. the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, 
punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time.